The amazing thing about sports is that it's able to cross cultural and political barriers. Take for example North Korea. The world's most isolated country accepted a special sports delegation of NBA players who briefly became ambassadors for sports diplomacy. According to the original Weibo post which cites the star, the young leader of North Korea Kim Jong-un is said to have been a fan of the Chicago Bulls in the 1990s and accepted a group of basketball players that included Dennis Rodman and three members of the Harlem Globetrotters to visit the country. The basketball players are part of a group that will be filming a special news program about North Korea that will be shown on HBO. And producers of the show said that Americans hope to engage in a little basketball diplomacy by running a basketball camp for children and play with North Korean basketball stars. Now, Chinese Weibo users have plenty to say about this subject. Some thought that the relationship between North Korea and America was definitely different from when Kim Jong-il was in power. And others thought that basketball diplomacy reminded them of China's own experience of opening up. Let's take a look at some of their comments. I can see the shadow of China's ping-pong diplomacy. I guess after the nuclear test, they want peace. Does North Korea really want to imitate us so bad? Even their diplomacy is similar to ours. Why do I feel that the relationship between North Korea and America is not the way we think it is? After condemnation from the international community, they are closer than ever. I hope something good comes out of this. Maybe Kim Jong-un will organize a friendly match with Obama in the future. I'm surprised people like Dennis Rodman, with his tattoos and piercings and hair. I'm surprised he is allowed to enter North Korea. Now, the reason why some Weibo users commented that basketball diplomacy reminded them of China's own past was because during the early 1970s, an exchange of table tennis players between the U.S. and China called Ping Pong Diplomacy, marked an event that began to thaw U.S.-China relations and eventually paved the way for a visit to Beijing by then-President Richard Nixon. The relationship between China and the U.S. at the time was tense since America and the USSR were in the midst of the Cold War. Now, to commemorate the event, a three-day ping pong diplomacy event was held on June 9th of 2008 at the Richard Nixon Presidential Library and Museum in California. Original members of both the Chinese and American ping pong teams from 1971 took part and were able to compete against their old rivals. Now, some Weibo users felt that basketball diplomacy would benefit North Korea and the U.S., while other comments stressed that if North Korea is warming up to America, well, that might signify a souring relationship with China. Let's take a look at some uh, Weibo users' thoughts and concerns. The biggest loser out of this is China. Both the U.S. and North Korea would benefit. Today's North Korea is no longer the old North Korea that listened to what China had to say. They feel threatened by us and are now considering allying with America. There are Chinese people on the internet calling for action against North Korea. And now look at America. They are opening diplomatic channels. Now you see the truth. It's always been about North Korea and America. The rest of us are not important. Who knows? Maybe some of those NBA players are actually government spies. Like his father before him, Kim Jong-un is a basketball fan. During a visit to Pyongyang in the 1990s, then-Secretary of State Madeleine Albright brought with her a basketball signed by Michael Jordan as a gift for the North Korean leader. And Kim Jong-un, being schooled in Switzerland from 1993 to 2000, was described as a shy and good student who got along well with his classmates and also an avid basketball fan who was fascinated with the NBA and Michael Jordan. And now it's still a little early to know whether basketball diplomacy would work for North Korea the way that ping pong diplomacy worked for China. However, what is becoming clear is that North Korea is starting to change. 
And much of that has to do with the influence of Western culture.